good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new please like comment share and subscribe and if you're returning sabi thank you very much today we will be talking about utandu nestembu smatele busisi wemseleko the mseleko family has been on our screens for years now and the reasons for their publicity has been polygamy Musa has four wives and their show Utandonis Tembu show us their reality. Today we will be talking about Busisiwe Mseleku or Matrele who is the first wife and matriarchy of the family. She's a woman who loved her husband so much so that she allowed him to bring more women into their marriage which isn't something that most people would do. Musa Mseleku often posts her first wife Matrele so many times on his social media and is, he has praised her for her devotion to him over the years. He says he has no doubt about her ever leaving him and that Matrele is the love of his life. They recently celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary, citing that they met at a supermarket in 2000 and they have three children. They dated for two years before getting married and she says it was a love like no other. Before paying Lobola for his darling, Musa joked about taking a second wife in Mastrele recalls saying no. Musa told her he was joking and she agreed to continue with the Lobola negotiations and their union was sealed in April 2002. She says there are things about Isitembu that she did, not, she did not want to be part of. However, it was not long after they said their I do's that Musa brought the subject of a second wife. He told her that growing up he was lonely and he wanted to have 20 children. He said, look, I love children, but having four kids would be traumatic. I had agreed that he could have kids with other women if he wanted to, because there was no way I was having that many kids. I ended up agreeing to the second wife because I did not want my selfishness of not wanting to have lots of kids to make other women to be single mothers because it, because it would mean he would impregnate them and leave them, she says. When they got married, he already had a child of his own and Matrele didn't. Musa went on to marry Masaole, who later died in a car accident before the TV family became famous. I had conditions that I put to him when he said he wanted a second wife. I said I would not be living in the same yard as another woman, so I moved out of the family home, Mzumbe. I moved out before they got married. I knew that I would not be able to cope knowing that my husband was just next door at another woman's house and I could not be with him. I gave him the permission he wanted for a second wife, but I said I was not getting involved in anything. I think traditionally I was supposed to be part of a welcoming party, but I refused to be involved in any way. Matrele confessed that after he married Masaule, she did not want him to touch her. She said, I'm okay now. But in the beginning, I did not want him to touch me when he came to my house. It was not until I fully accepted our situation that we were able to be intimate. Otherwise, I came up with all sorts of excuses about why we couldn't. Now, her husband rotates his time with all his wives, she said. He is away for three days and he is with her on the fourth. The other three wives, Mayeni, Makumalo and Mangwabe, all live in the same yard. Matrele says he spends time with each of them every day, asking about their days and spending time with the kids. Then he moves on to the next house and his last stop is the house where he will be sleeping that day. 
Their arrangement does not bother Matrele at all because she did not want to live with the husband anyway. When I was growing up, Ubaba used to work far away from home and the women lived alone with the kids. Then they would return on Easter and Christmas and it would be a joyous time. So that is what I wanted too. I wanted the time my husband would be home to be amazing and joyous because the kids and I missed him and he would go again. It does not matter how many wives a man wants to take, but he must always ask for permission from the first wife. She says they initially entered into a civil union, which had to be dissolved so they could be married under customary law to allow him to take a second wife. Women need to know that once they agreed to the second wife, legally they cannot really say no to a third or a fourth. Yes, you can protest against your husband, but legally you do not have the power to you had in a civil marriage. With everything that happens in a polygamous marriage, Matrele says she will never compromise her values. If I could have a do-over of my life, I would still choose Mseleku, but definitely not Istanbul. I will not change my values for anything. That yes, other wives is a compromise on its own. On the issue of Musa taking a fifth wife, Matrele says whether he does it or not, he will still not achieve his dream. His dream was to have 20 children. Currently he has 10, eight of whom are from us is his wife there is no way he will reach this target when the conversation about istanbul started i said he cannot take another wife after we have been married for 20 years he thought that 20 years is a long time and now we are here in that 20 years he could have married eight wives and possibly reached his target but he didn't and that is nothing to do with me he has not had a white wedding with some of his other wives and there was a further delay because of COVID 19. i may give him a grace period of two or three years but once that is over we will have our big anniversary and he can finally wear a wedding ring currently he does not wear a wedding ring and the ring that you will wear will be my ring and no one else's she says her relationship with her sister wives is very relaxed i like them as my sisters i'm not jealous of them because we share a husband i'm too old for that